Hey guys, Paulie from the Complete Personal Trainer Podcast. So today's tip, today's uh, piece of advice for personal trainers is more geared towards the trainers who don't work in a <clears throat> gym space. And there's a lot of trainers, there's a lot of different contexts for trainers to work. So there's people who run boot camps, there's people who do outdoor training, people who go to people's homes and train, there's classes at different facilities, etc. And all these things are really fantastic ways to for people to develop health and to get better and to get fitter and to also run a business all these things are good one piece of advice i want to give and i give a fair bit of advice on this podcast and to my students and there's a lot of different reasons for it today's bit of advice is for pers- all personal trainers i feel they should join a gym at some time and actually really get serious about weight training for a period of time now there's a number of uh reasons why you don't have to do this. Uh, weight training is not essential by any means of farm, by any mean of farm, by any rule, by any law, uh, to get you know, to get lean, to get healthy, to get in good shape. But if you want to get in the best possible shape, weight training is really an unavoidable thing that you will have to do. And it's also a thing that's going to help you get stronger than anything else. And the lessons that you can learn in the weight room and the lessons that you can then apply to your clients can help you get better outcomes, better results, and get more out of yourself. And the thing about a lot of people say to me is, oh, joining a gym, it's too expensive. It's kind of like, if you're not willing to pay for it yourself, so if you're not willing to pay, you're a personal trainer, you're someone who's, uh, you know, exercises your vocation. For some people, it's their vacation as well. They love doing it. But you're not willing to pay up to, you know, from some gyms like $10 a week uh, to invest in your own health and fitness, your own training, your own strength, your own movement capacity, your own potential as an athlete or as a physique person, or your physique, um, you really got to question, is this really the right industry you're doing? Is it just something that you think this is cool or something that you are actually seriously passionate about? Uh, I've been a member of gyms since I was probably 16, since I was legally allowed to join a gym and I used to love going to the gym before that as well. and. You know, the weight room's taught me a ton of different things. It's taught me uh, how to persevere through pain. It's taught me how to improve my movement quality. It's uh, helped me put muscle on, obviously. That's what it does. It's gotten me stronger than I ever was before. And it's shown me what I really wanted to do. So <clears throat> if you are a personal trainer, this uh, podcast is more rather than advice. It's to employ you to, if you don't have a home gym set up, and by a home gym set up, I mean like a decent amount of gear, uh, I've got a fairly decent amount of gear here and I've got more coming in. Uh, if you don't have a decent home gym set, like you've only got a couple of kettlebells and a TRX, you've really got to ask yourself, are you shortchanging how far that you can take your own personal health and fitness and then also your ability to coach things because you don't have the ability to do stuff uh, with your particular client. So if you get to someone's house and they've got a barbell and some bumper plates and you've got to teach them deadlifts, if you've never done it before and you don't do it in your own training, it's going to be really hard for you to teach those things really well, particularly if you're a beginner. And if money is an issue, you need to, it's your career, you're investing in it. It's really important to actually spend some time where most of the best training in the world actually takes place. Most of the best training, most of the worst training also takes place in gyms. But this is where we see the most, uh, the best results, people with the best transformations, the people with the most strength and potential, the people who do the best go to gyms and train. And they become familiar with every piece of equipment there. You become familiar with the machines, you become familiar with the barbells, the dumbbells, the cable stacks, all that kind of stuff can be incredibly beneficial for your training. Now, do you need all that to get healthy? No, but to get to your best and to become the best coach you can, it's absolutely essential that you become very familiar with the inner workings of the weight room and the gym. You get comfortable there. And the other thing that'll do for people who haven't really done it before too much, even if they are a personal trainer, is it will help give you a little bit of empathy, a little bit of sympathy for your clients because you're probably gonna feel a bit awkward in there as well, particularly when there's dudes that are bigger than you, stronger than you, or girls, bigger and stronger than you in the gym. So it's very worthwhile for you to you know, go find a gym local to you, pay the membership, support the industry that you want to be in. We all need help. We can, you know, it could always be easier. We could all benefit from another client or another member in our facility. Uh, be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Thanks heaps for watching, guys. Speak to you soon tomorrow with a new podcast.